It's the National Football League on Initial touch, good for a couple. It'll be second down. With that, why don't we give you a look at his numbers on the ground in last week's game? A second down throw here for Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. the gun. It's Levis. And this is going to be in for the week. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively. Setting up a fourth down. Now a fair catch is taken back inside. First down, Levis. That one's complete. It's Tyler Boyd. And good yardage there after the catch. they will wind up with a gain of seven on first down. They give to Pollard on the option. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. It's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. He plunges forward. For a couple of yards, Aiden Hutchinson, the former first rounder, in on the tackle. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. A throw right side taken in by Boyd. From the 39, here's a first and ten. Levis with a give to Spears. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Levis. The throw here is complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed to pick up a five and sets up second and five. On second down, Spears. And he's close to the first down. Gets four yards on the game, but it will bring up third down. Motioning one of the tight ends. They'll try and run here with Spears. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They can find a way to convert on third and one. To throw is Levis. That one taken in. Tyler Boyd. Touchdown, Titans. That's the fifth touchdown. He'll start this drive on the ground with Spears. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. Kirby Joseph there to make the play. On second down, Levis. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. And nice work there after the catch. He was a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. They'll try to get the running game going. His first carry. And he's going to be brought down right on that yellow line. The official signal. He's got enough for the first down. 
And the Titans first day. Hopkins sent in motion. A touchdown apiece here in the first quarter of play. to start the drop. Second and seven. On play action, here's Levis. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. To throw is Levis. And this ball incomplete. Another punt brings another look at Ryan Stonehouse to kick. And he is hoping to improve on his first attempt. A fair catch called for and taken out.
first down and more inside the 30. And they're going to get this ball down to the 20-yard line. The drive stays alive. They got 23 yards on fourth down. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively. I mean, just as the ball was arriving. And it will be second down. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. And a good job rally into the football. Holding just a gain of a yard. Sets up third down. Here's Lex. Try it for Tennessee. Officially, it's a 36-yard attempt. Folks' kick is good. They run. It's out of the gun, and that's Spear. And the defense right on that. I don't know if keeping would have done any better. No game on that one. No game on that one. That's caught by Spears out of the backfield. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good game, brings up third down. He'll look middle, and he's got his man. Complete his fifth catch of the afternoon. Good for a first down. Here is a handoff to Spear. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Here's Levis to throw. Open man downfield. It is Hopkins. Down Tennessee. Well, that was a pretty easy touchdown. He was wide. Here's Spears. He'll manage only a couple. Alex Singleton. They're on the tackle. Levis to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Probably good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Now Levis. Throw it into a sea of bodies, but it's complete. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Fair catch. Fair catch is... On first and ten, here's Levis. Open man downfield. It's DeAndre Hopkins with the grab. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. The motion then is four. Here comes the jet sweep. Here's a second and twelve. From the gun, it's Levis. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Alex Singleton.
of six. And you know, a lot of guys come back and they're very conservative and they just want to dink and dunk because they're scared to throw another pick. Well, we found out pretty quickly. Not this guy. He's going to continue to tap the ball downfield and he's looking to make big plays any chance he gets. He'll run. It's a gain of 12 then. That's good for a Titan first down. Curling is Levis. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And good yardage there after the catch to wind up with a gain of seven on first down. A second down throw here for Levis. He'll look underneath, and here's Spears. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. They'll stick to the ground. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no game. Out of a shot clock. Left. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. And right to the 25-yard line, that is enough for the first down. So they pick it up on the ground, and the drive keeps going. To throw is Levis. There's that man again. Another catch. Now they are in business. Inside the 15-yard line. They'll run here. And nothing on that one back. And that is it. On second down, left. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. From the gut on third down, here's Levis. And he is out of bounds. It's going to be first down, though. First and goal at the two. They'll try to run this one in. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. They'll run with speed. He'll drop to throw. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He'll try again here. It's second and ten. Levis. Nowhere to go. He's going to be taken down. The crowd cranking it up another knock before third and long. Go. Here's Levis. And that is incomplete. So it's a win here for the Lions. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other.
It's week nine of the NFL. Levis back to throw. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he can muster only a couple here to the 24. Now a third and six. Levis looking to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Back to throw, it's Levis. And it's held in by Nick Vanell. And out across midfield, down to the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 43, here's a second and eight. Levis sets up to throw here. That's complete. It's Josh Wiley. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Here's Pollard again. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. In motion, the tight end. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that will bring up second down. Now Levis. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. And the heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he will score. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Levis. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Levis to throw it. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Here's Levis. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Now on fourth down, here's Ryan Stonehouse to punt for Tennessee. Back deep for New England is Marcus Jones. And he punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Officially just 27 yards. Yeah, 
They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throw here taken in by Riley, the tight end. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the gun to give to Pollard. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Off the play fake, Levis. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he will have the Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pollard gets it off the option. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. He finds his man, Pollard. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. New England on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Mike five four. Odd, odd, Mike five four. That's another Titans. Levis from the gun. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Levis out of the shotgun now. And it's a Titans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Titans have... Here we go. Option play, here's Pollard. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Back to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. The Titans at three and four on the year coming into play. And they come in losers of two straight, so trying to turn things around here. And you just mentioned two straight, and when you're talking about two games, that's nothing to panic about. They feel like they've been a little bit unlucky in the last couple. This is a club that's more than capable of turning things around, and I expect them to play really well here. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 30. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll give to Pollard. And he stops right at the 25 after a gain of five. So from the 25, this is second and five. Play action now, Levis. And his throw here is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have the Titans first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14-7. to seven. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Mike 13, Mike 13. Pollard going to try the right side. A gain of three, second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team. 
defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the 16, Levis firing quickly, but it's incomplete. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. On third down, it's Pollard. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. 92 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. In motion left goes Boyd. They'll set up to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Brings up second and goal. Levis back to throw. Drops this underneath for Pollard. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Levis looking to throw. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tony Pollard as the first half is winding down. And the tight... Second half begins with a run by Pollard. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Levis now off of play action. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And his fine afternoon on the ground continues. That last run going to put him over 100 yards for the ball game. Back to throw. It's Levis. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So in the pass territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Now back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Pollard will take it up the gut. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One yard gain brings up second and nine. Levis sets up to throw here. Over the middle complete. It's Hopkins. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. It'll be a handoff to Pollard. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. 
They're going to look to throw. And he will find his man on the end round, complete. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Uh, he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. His pass caught at the four. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before him. The folks' kick is good. And the lead grows to... start this drive out on the ground. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Going to run again here with Pollard. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Now Levis. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll set up a throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. Here we go. That's good for a Tennessee Titan. They toss him down to Pollard. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Levis. And the catch made by Hopkins. And he gets this inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now a give here to Pollard. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the 7-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Levis to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Here's Levis. Yeah, he's got it. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch. Not much yardage out. And he gets in. Touchdown, Tennessee. They'll run. Here's Pollard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Like 54, like 54. On the toss, it's Spears. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. 
And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. This will be caught at about the six. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Now here's a give to Spears. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Tajay Spears. It this one a Tennessee Titan victory and when you break it down you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance and I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting but obviously not the case and how about just how it broke open you know you just all of a sudden Thank you. 
It's the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got the rocket arms, Will Levis. He's your top dog in the league this season, ranking first in passing yards. It's the Titans and the Chargers, and it comes your way next. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger club entering play here. They come off a disappointment last time out to put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Titans, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it. Nothing on the scoreboard. 0-0 zero, zero as the offense gets ready to take over the football. Now Spears to begin the drive. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. But you talk about the defense for these Chargers. And this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And it's really difficult to prepare for this team. This is the number one overall passing team in the NFL. But it shouldn't be hard to get excited about playing against them. The ultimate test going against that unit. And that's why you and I are excited to broadcast this game. Yes, sir. Levis out of the gun on third down. And the catch made. It's Tyler Boyd. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A game of 15. First down Titans. Out of the gun again to Spears. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. But they go play action. Here's Levis. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And they'll send Boyd in motion left. Out of the gun now on third down. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Hand off to Spears. And down to the 41. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Looking to throw. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. He's still on his feet, and he brings this. And Boyd in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. In motion left goes Boyd. They'll look to throw now on first down. That one's taken in by Spears. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. We'll go down as a gain of six. And it'll be second down. All the option. Here's Spears. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Back to throw here. And this pass broken up. And the contact well in time there. And now fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. Back deep is Kadarius Tony. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Just a 25-yard punt. Not what he was hoping for by... The Titans offense set to begin the drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? Because ultimately to me, 
four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wonder just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. Now, now, after all of this, hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. From just shy of midfield, here's second down at seven. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now it's third and four. Levis out of the shotgun now. Check down, complete to Haskins. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Fair catch called, it's taken in right. So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. On the ground, this is Julius Chestnut. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And that's going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go and catch passes when people try to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have he should have caught. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A run here with Chestnut. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Second down in the yard. They'll run with Chestnut. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. That's to the tight end, Wiley. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A game of 16 yards. And the Titans first down. On the carry, it's Chestnut. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, 7 0. On the ace. Second quarter now. Titans in possession of the football. They work now on second and nine. As they've got it as we resume action. Throw's going to be incomplete. Well, we see him catch a few pass out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well. It's a mismatch. He doesn't have a good battle, a corner, a safety. The fact he can win every battle. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. So that Charles, a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they are back to 500 on the year. Got the win last weekend. And it's one that kept their playoff hopes alive. And if you do have those hopes... 500 is not where you want to be at this point of the year. Now, we know they've battled through some rough patches this season, so it now comes down to how they're going to finish. Not out of it. Can't afford any more missteps, though. Looking to throw on second down. Levis. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A game of nine yards. First down, Tennessee. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Throw right side caught by Ridley. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. Now they show Jeff Sweep, but instead a run up the middle here. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Here's second and seven. Levis back to throw. And his pass incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody. And that led to an incompletion. Working from the gun, here's Levis. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. The folks' kick is good. And they'll get it back with it. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And some room to roam now. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. Running game working. they stick with it on first down. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. From the 38 now. Here's a second and eight. Levis looking to throw. And yeah, this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. The LA defense up the snuff and coverage there. Pushes this to fourth down. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And space tough to come by there as they'll get maybe a yard to the 37. So from the 37, here's a second down and nine. Back to throw, it's Levis. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. In motion right here, boy. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. 62 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. And he continues to have success running the ball here in the first half as he's already closing in on 100 yards for the game. Levis sets up the throw here. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Gave him a bat down the way. It sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. 
Folk's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. And that last field goal, number 400 for him in his NFL career. I don't... Titans offense set to begin the drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. It gets this one to Boyd. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Partner, we always talk about how important third down is. I think first down is equally important because... Everything comes off of that play. If the defense wins the down, they are able to attack. If the offense wins the down, they might go faster, do other things, and change things up. That big play right there allows this offense to really get in gear. And he'll send Boyd in motion left. From the 39, Levis. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Levis from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. Again to Haskins up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. And that play stopped by Drake Jackson. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. In motion goes the tight end. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And that's where you want to use your big tight end. Let him use his size and frame to go up and get the deep ball in the end zone. But that time, they couldn't connect. They'll go underneath to Haskins. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. Folk's kick is good, and they have regained the lead. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. Hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now Levis. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Well, I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now? Fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. He will have the conversion and more than that. And finally brought down right at the midfield strike. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They'll run it on the option with Haskins. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. First down, they'll stick with Haskins. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. The third quarter now, a one-point game as they line up second and ten. Levis. Throw here, taken in by Wiley, the tight end. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And on 
third and five. This will be the eighth play of the drive. Levis to throw it. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And it'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Haskins now on first and ten. And he'll be taken down after a minimal pickup, and that will take us to the end of quarter number three. Three quarters in the books. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Off the play fake, Levis. He's got the tight end, Vanette. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And Boyd in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep. And they'll instead run up the middle. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. So first and goal, six points here. We're going a long way toward wrapping this one up. Haskins will take this into the end zone for a Titan. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. 99 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. From the 17, here's second and four. Here's Levis. This one caught by Ridley. Seven yards there and a first down. Straight ahead, here's Haskins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll drop the throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. we got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. They'll come up now third and three. Haskins trying to pick it up. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Across midfield. And just shutting him off there. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. From the gun, Haskins. Down to about the 32. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. 
have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Another run for Haskins. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. There's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Running for it, Haskins. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. So here's Nick Folk in an important spot. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And they've got to feel good about this performance. I think you'd agree. Matched up against a top five defensive unit in the league. And they pretty much had their way. Yeah, that was, that was the interesting part about it. because.